Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss and in this video we are continuing our series on writing a Slack bot in the Go programming language. In this video we're going to focus on writing a Jenkins pipeline script and creating a Jenkins pipeline job in a Jenkins server. Our Jenkins pipeline script will invoke the Go program that we wrote in the previous video as a post build action inside of the script. When the script invokes the Go program that we wrote, it will pass in some Jenkins environment variables as arguments to the program. If you haven't already, go ahead and grab a coffee and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to point out is that the Jenkins file that we're about to write is going to be available in the same repository as the Go program uh, that we wrote in the previous video. So a link to the GitHub repository is included in the video description below. And I'm also assuming that you have some familiarity with declarative uh, Jenkins pipeline scripts. If you're not familiar with uh, declarative Jenkins pipeline scripts, I encourage you to take a look at the video uh, that I made a little while back, uh, specifically on writing declarative Jenkins pipeline scripts, and that will get you up to speed with some of the terminology that we're about to see uh, in the script that we write now. So let's start writing the pipeline script. Uh, the first thing that I wanna do is define or declare a new pipeline. And inside of that, I'm going to specify that this pipeline can be ran on any uh, Jenkins agent. So I'm going to say agent any. And then I want to define uh, stages for this pipeline. So I'm going to do stages. And one thing that I want to point out is that this pipeline, you can imagine that this pi pipeline is a production pipeline for like a web application or some, some other, maybe a mobile application or something like that. This is supposed to imitate a production pipeline. It's not, its sole purpose is not to run our Go program. Our Go program is ancillary to this production uh, pipeline for let's say, you know, a web application that our team is building. So the first stage of the pipeline is going to be checking out our code base. So I'm gonna specify a new stage and uh, call it checkout code base and inside uh, the checkout code base stage I'm going to utilize the checkout command or checkout SCM command and inside of this command we're going to specify the following um, arguments the class is going to use uh, get SCM and then the branches that we specify, we're going to utilize the main branch because that's where our code lives. And for user remote configs, uh, we'll specify the credentials that we need, which is gonna be the SSH key pair that we need to authenticate with GitHub. So if you haven't created an SSH key pair in your Jenkins instance, uh, to authenticate with your GitHub profile, I would encourage you to do so now. You'll need it uh, in the user remote configs here. And I've named my uh, credentials uh, GitHub SSH key. And the next configuration that I'm gonna specify is the uh, GitHub URL. And that's gonna be git at GitHub. This is gonna be the SSH URL. Um, if we want to clone down with SSH, which Jenkins is going to use SSH to clone it down. GitHub.com. And then the name of our, uh, our repository. Okay. I think that's, that looks correct. We will see, we will see if it's correct. Okay, so that's the first stage is just to check out the code. And I want to, inside of the stage, I should specify this in steps. So this is gonna be, this checkout command is gonna be inside of uh, this steps uh, section. Okay, so that's the whole, uh, uh, check out code base stage. Now let's specify the second stage, which is going to be the build stage. And in the build stage, we'll specify steps. 
and inside of steps, we'll just have a single, um, we'll just echo uh, building code base, okay? So this is where you would, this is where you would uh, build, let's say we're, you know, this is a pipeline for a web application. This is where we would execute the steps to build that web application, okay? And after the build stage, we'll specify um, a test stage. And for the test stage, we have the following steps. Uh, we'll just, again, echo running tests on changes, something simple. And then finally, the uh, deploy stage. Okay, and we'll add some uh, some quick commands here. Okay, so at this point, you know we've we've completed the work for uh, let's say let's assume this is like a web application a pipeline for a web application. We've completed the pipeline for you know building and testing and deploying. Our web application now that the pipeline has completed as a post build operation uh, after the pipeline is completed we should then send a slack message you know notifying our slack channel that the build is completed and uh, and providing the uh, status of the build whether it passed or failed and to specify a post build step inside of a Jenkins pipeline script uh, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is, um, after the stages, we can specify post. And then this is going to be a post build action that always happens. It's not conditional. Uh, you can set a, t a condition on whether the build succeeds or whether the build passes, then do some action. But in this case, we always want to send a message to the Slack channel whether it passes or fails, and the uh, status of the of the build will just be passed in as an argument to our uh, Go program. And to specify a post build action that always happens, we have to uh, use the always keyword here. So we're gonna say always, and then inside of the always block, uh, we're going to just echo sending Slack message to the console. And then after uh, after we echo sending Slack message, we'll invoke our Go program. So we're going to use uh, the sh utility here, and then in double quotes, uh, we'll say Go run, and then we'll specify the file path of our uh, of our uh, Go program. And then we're gonna pass in some Jenkins environment variables as arguments to the program. So we can refer to the build URL using the following environment variable, build underscore URL, okay? And that will pass in the value of the build URL uh, as the first argument. And then as the second argument, we want to get the, uh, the result of the current build. And to do that, we can, there is a, uh, another variable that we can use. It's called current build dot current result. And that will pull the result of this build. And then uh, the next thing that we want is the build number. And we can get that using the build number environment variable. And then the last uh, argument is going to be the job name, which we can also get via an environment variable. Okay, and then we have uh, end quotes there. All right.
And I think there's one thing I forgot in specifying the checkout uh, SEM part. So let's go up, let's go back up here and take a look at our uh, our user remote configs. So one thing that I forgot was to specify our key as a credentials ID. So I'm going to say credentials uh, ID colon and then specify <clears throat> the GitHub uh, SSH key. I, th I think that should be uh, correct. So let's go ahead and navigate to Jenkins. And in Jenkins, I'm going to create a new item. I'm going to specify a pipeline and we'll call it, uh, let's say, uh, Slack notifications. And I'm going to click pipeline and then click OK. And uh, under the pipeline section, we're going to specify a pipeline script from SEM. So we are going to check it out. And it's going to be Git, and then the repository URL. We want to pull the repository URL from GitHub. So I'm going to go back to uh, my GitHub and copy the URL of my repo. We'll paste it in here. And then I need to specify the credentials that I'm going to use. And I already have credentials uh, created for this. And then the branch specifier is going to be main. And then for the script path to the Jenkins file, the Jenkins file lives in this folder, send hyphen Jenkins hyphen notification. So I'm going to modify the script path. Okay. And that should be uh, all we need, I think. So let's go ahead and save that uh, pipeline. And one thing that I need to do before we uh, run this job is I'm just going to uh, add my Jenkins, um, my changes, my Jenkins file to uh, Git and push those up to the repository. Okay. Alrighty. And now that we've uh, pushed those changes up, I'm going to go ahead and build. Let's see if it, if it does work or if I missed anything here. Okay. And let's take a look at the console output here. And it looks like it completed successfully. If we walk through the stages here, it was able to check out the code base, the Slackbot Jenkins integration repository, went through the, the build stage, the test stage, the deploy stage, and then we got to the post, uh, the post action step. It says send you a Slack message, and then it ran the, uh, <clears throat> it ran the uh, Go program using the arguments, and you can see that the environment variables resolved to uh, these strings that were passed in. So Here's the URL of the uh, of the build. It was a successful build. Uh, this was build number one, and then the name of the job is called Slack hyphen notifications. And uh, printed out our program printed out the arguments, you know, to the console as well, and it was successful. So let's take a look at our Slack uh, channel as well, and you can see that the Slack channel uh, also posted our message. Uh, for that that latest build. So it's not too difficult to run our Go program inside of a Jenkins pipeline script, but I encourage you to uh, think of some improvements that we could make to this solution. For instance, how could we make it so that uh, Jenkins is not dependent on having Go installed on the Jenkins server and running the program directly inside of the Jenkins pipeline script? Or maybe we could integrate this program with our identity management system so that instead of sending a Slack message uh, for a given build to a general channel, 
it instead sent a message to the uh, the owner of the changes that were included in the Jenkins build. So it sends a direct message to, in Slack to whoever uh, wrote the, the code changes that were being uh, built and tested inside of the Jenkins build. I hope you're enjoying this series, and if you are, please consider throwing likes on the videos and subscribing to the channel for more series like this. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below in the comments. Thanks for watching.